The Latino boom in New York, in New Jersey, and across the country continues. More Latino students, more police officers, more business owners, but not so much more Latino attorneys. How many of you think that our legal profession is extremely diverse? Yes, it's a leading question. Um, it's not. 85%, now for those of you who are mathematicians, the numbers are not going to add up to 100%. 85% of practicing lawyers are white, 5% are black, 5% are Latinx, and 3% are Asian, and then there's a unidentified 2%. That's not what we want this country's legal profession to look like. Um, and, I, and I've been out of law school almost 40 years, and it's not any more diverse now than I think than it was 40 years ago. But John Jay is doing its part to change that. What brought me to have an interest in law is my involvement in the criminal legal system and the poor representation that I received throughout the entire process. I figured once I got incarcerated, I knew I wanted to learn as much about the law as I could because I didn't trust the system to give me a fair shake. I did a lot of self-reflection and just me reflecting on my life, what I wanted out of life, where I wanted to go coming out of prison. Um, I knew I wanted to make a change. I knew I wanted to be an advocate for people like me who were poor, underrepresented from marginalized communities all across America. And I decided when I came home, I was gonna pursue that goal of becoming an attorney. I knew I was gonna come to John Jay even before I came home. Because like growing up in New York City, anyone who spoke about becoming an attorney or having anything to do with law enforcement, the one consistent school that was always mentioned was John Jay. Everything is falling in line. and. It's all because of my affiliation with John Jay and the Pre-Law Institute at John Jay. The support that I've received, the connections that I've made, you know, it's like my network, it keeps growing and growing in, inside of John Jay, outside of John Jay, and I'm basically as connected as I've ever been in my life. My greatest memory being at John Jay was that initial interview with Dr. Davidson where, you know, I went in there, like my confidence was all shaken. You know, I didn't know what to expect, you know. And um, I told him I, I have a criminal justice involvement. Um, I want to become an attorney and I don't know if I can. The advice that he gave me, I mean, I thought that my criminal justice involvement would be like a hindrance. And he actually saw that as an opportunity. I mean, it was intense <laughs> and it was, you know, you, it's unforgettable. And what it did was, you know, like he validated my sense of purpose, you know, and like my self-esteem was boosted and, you know, my confidence was restored. I was just, I, I left out of that meeting definitely convinced that I was gonna become an attorney. My name is Bernice Nesbitt. I am a member of the Pre-Law Institute and a Pinkerton Fellow.